Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's quick video, I wanted to show you how you can create custom fields, custom columns in Project for the Web. So here is my uh, sample schedule that I have in uh, Project for the Web. And obviously I have some columns displayed by default. Uh, when you click Add Column, so you can actually add additional columns that are kind of already exist uh, out of the box. This, uh, columns that are part of each and every uh, schedule and project for the web. So if I wanted to add uh, some of those, um, you know, out of the box, I guess, columns, you can do that. However, we can also create our own custom uh, fields as well. Uh, just click Add Column, New Field, and uh, these are all the different types of columns we can add. Now, we don't have a huge selection of column uh, types. Um, uh, you know, typically we obviously uh, see a larger selections on lists uh, and libraries in SharePoint. Uh, here we just have a few, but for, ex for example, let's say I want to add a text field of some sort, all right? Uh, maybe to capture some comments or something, I can do that. Or maybe a date field. Uh, maybe I want to track something, uh, number, uh, yes or no, or choice, all right? We actually do have this type of column and lists and libraries. And for example, let's just say uh, I want to uh, maybe uh, track all my tasks by various departments and I uh, will give uh, you know them uh, different choices. So let me do that, all right, just like that. And another thing you can do is uh, color code it, all right, just like we can with lists and libraries. So you can easily uh, just uh, you know assign different uh, colors, I guess, and click Create. And once created, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can um, just, you know, change uh, the selection uh, for your tasks right here uh, in this view. So, and uh, if you notice, it uh, color codes everything accordingly. Alternatively, you can also click uh, on this little eye. You know, this opens up a document information panel and. Uh, uh, once again, we actually have a custom field appear right here in this panel, uh, which is super convenient. And um, that would be just another option for you uh, to label this, um, you know, this particular task with your custom metadata. So that's all nice and easy. Uh, once again, you know, hopefully maybe in the future we will get uh, some additional uh, types of columns. For now, we only have five, at least as of the recording of this particular, you know, video. So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.